Hi, I am the designer and programmer of Gratuitous Space Battles 2 and this is the second video where I'm going to talk about the ship design process for the game. Um, you might recognise this screen, this is um, quite similar, although the design is very different, um, quite similar to Gratuitous Space Battles 1 um, where you select a hull here and then you drag modules onto a ship to set up the kind of ship that you want. Um, that much has stayed pretty much the same but what is different is that unlike in GSB1 where all of the ships based on the same hull would look the same, um, in GSB2 you're going to be able to sort of change the appearance of a ship. So we have a, have a new tab up here, edit appearance, if I click that that takes you to this screen which is completely new and this is where you get to edit um, the sort of physical look of the ship and this will be persistent for you and also for anyone that you issue a challenge to so you'll be able to design your own ship and then upload that ship for other people to fight against um, both in terms of its, its um, modules and in terms of how it looks so you might not like the design of this and you might want to change it and that's fine so the first thing we could do is just sort of get rid of everything I've added and that is the basic ship hull there that's all there is and I quite like the sort of the two color system that I've got there but you could you know if you didn't like that and you just wanted it one color you, you can just set them the same but I'm gonna quickly run through sort of putting together a fairly fairly sort of cheesy looking ship just just to amuse me um, and show you what you can do. So there's loads of components here um, This is by no means all of them. This is just um, the ones that we've done so far. There'll be lots and there's quite a lot of kind of options you can rotate stuff and um, You can mirror it and and stuff like that. So say I wanted to add that I can't remember what colors I picked but um, I'm just gonna kind of rush through it. I found that the easiest way to do this um, is to do one side of the ship and then to kind of um, mirror the whole ship that seems to be the easiest way so one of the other things that you can do this might be a little bit over the t over the top um, you've also got control of the Z order of everything so you can decide what's on what's on top of other stuff um, oh no that's not what I wanted let's just set that back to black um, and I wanted that didn't I so set that to um, you can have stuff rotating if you want you want little rotating um, gubbins like that there's loads of bits that you can use to make up um, engines so you can have sort of quite complicated engine components that are made up of all sorts of all sorts of different bits we'll have one of them and one of them um, you can also add stuff together to make composite components so that you to kind of like speed stuff up you can do multiple select um, all the kind of stuff that you would expect I just want a sort of exhaust thing there we'll go with a sort of red reddish exhaust stuff um, and then I want something like this let's just move those up there for now oh this is going to need a lot of kind of like usability tweaking stuff. I'm sure it'll be great fun to do. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll oh I'm just going to set the Z order of that high, so I can then stick that behind it there, and then I've got an engine which probably needs a fin. Um, oh, lots of options, lots of options. Let's go with that. Um, and I might just go with completely... I'll go red, who cares? Oh. Put that back. And... For example, do that. There's actually no limit on the amount of stuff that you can add. You can add as many of these little widgets and and things as you like. Um, it Cunningly it won't slow the game down. Um, I won't sort of go on in tedious detail about why not but it 
but it won't. If you add hundreds and hundreds of engines and stuff that rotates, it possibly will. Um, but you'd have to go pretty nuts for that to happen. Um, there's also an option to have coloured lights. If I just try, but I can't remember how to do it now. Oh, there we go. So it's a sort of bluish light there. Um, so once you've got something that you like, it's quite easy to duplicate it and just add lots of them all over the place. It's meant to be a cruiser, so my windows should be tiny, really. They're not. Um, but this is just a proof of concept. Um, one of the things you can do here is you can um, play about with uh, you know, how it's going to look in the actual game engine. So, for example, it would look like that at the moment um, in complete darkness. And there's loads of kind of like silly coloured bits that you can add. So let's add something like this. Oh no, let's have some more red. Um, so this is kind of fun. And that should show up if we take down the foreground. So, ooh, nice lighting. Um, like I say, you can add hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things like this. Um, you have to take my word for it, I'll sh because otherwise it will take ages for me to sort of go through it. Um, there's other bits and bobs you can add. You can add um, flashing lights. Uh, but one of the things that I really like we turn this down is kind of hull lighting um, where are they I think that's one so you can have a kind of light that just lights up part of the hull like this I really like that um, your mileage may vary um, it just gives it a bit more kind of interest to it so uh, I could go on for, for ages adding loads of stuff. There's also contrails and other um, flashy stuff. And there's the, the, those sort of engines that are, you know, like a strip engine. Um, also solar panels, because, you know, it's a game I'm working on. Um, okay, so uh, I've added some nonsense there. So if I just select all of that and then just mirror it like that, then we have our ship which will hopefully kind of look a little bit like that. Um, it's not a work of art, but you know, two minutes and um, I'm sure people will go to, to, to much greater lengths. So um, what I'm going to do now is show you how that looks in the game. So I need to go back here to the main screen and um, was that F2 Cruiser 1? Must remember that and we'll save that. Yep. And now let's see what it looks like in the game. At this cunning no no cuts or editing um f2 cruiser one f2 cruiser one f2 cruiser one oh, i haven't updated the icon for it but it doesn't matter um that's a bug for me right and here it is kind of like caching the graphics which is actually pretty quick i mean that's done it's now loading the rest of the um the rest of the battle that's been optimized to oblivion Right, okay, so it's down the bottom somewhere. Obviously, we should recognise it. Um, oh, there we go. So, um, this is this is our ship. With our really sort of tacky rotating bits and our bit of red. Um, and it still has the kind of like 3D-ness. I can, I can move stuff about. Um, let's turn down the blue a bit and turn down the outside lighting to show those lights that we put in place. Um, so there you go, a custom design ship that works, no fancy editing, it just goes straight in and the possibilities are endless.